News 4 is on the road in Florissant this week. If you ever take a trip to the community, there is one stop you absolutely have to make. It's not just about the historical significance. This is a religious experience unique to the Midwest. Well, it was the first church in the area, and it has a long history. Um, the parish dates from 1789, and when the parish of the congregation outgrew the premises and built a new facility, they wanted to keep this as, as a shrine because of its historical, its architectural, and religious significance. It's the, uh, Philippine is the, um, the only canonized saint in the Midwest. The Philippine's big dream was to come someday to America to work with the Native Americans. She'd heard about these, uh, the needs of the Indians from missionary priests who had been over here and returned to France. So in 18, 18, 1819, they um, opened the school here. In the evening, uh, when everybody else was in bed, Philippine would go around and make sure all the doors were, were locked and the fires were banked safely for the night. And then she would go and check the clothing of the students and the nuns to see if anything needed mending. And she'd attend to that. And then finally, she would settle down to her prayer. And she chose for her sleeping quarters a little space, you can't even call it a room, a little space under the stairs. And the reason was that it was so close to the chapel, it was just right across the corridor from the chapel. She was lived here a total of 14 years, longer than she lived any place else in America. Her determination, her courage, her life of prayer, I think she's an inspiration for all of us. And don't forget to stop by and see us tomorrow in Florissant. News 4 will be live in front of Florissant City Hall, beginning with Awake with News 4. And then, of course, Larry and I will be live during our five.